I am Pinstar, and this is Potionomics Episode 7. So, today, uh, we're getting closer to our uh, competition here, but I'm optimistic about our chances. A uh, recap of today's events. It's open season on slimes. With heroes determined to prune their numbers, the market is suddenly drowning in ooze. Slime ingredients will cost more, and essence ingredients cost less. Although, it sounds like if they, like, over-harvested all the slimes, wouldn't the slimes be cheap? Because, like... We're drowning in ooze, unless that's what the essence is. Dead slimes? I don't know. Forest is weaker, and Roxanne is making it unprofitable, or, well, less profitable to sell mana potions. That's fine. We can we can deal with that. Let's check our brew. Do we have one one turn on this or no? I forget if I left myself with a one... one uh... No, we didn't. All right, we have a clean brew. Excellent. Common Sight Enhancer get... Superb brew. Now we need the poison cure for multiple reasons. I want to I want to send uh, mint to the mushroom mire, and we need the poison cure for that. But we also need it for that that special order. So what do we need for poison cure here? Oh, you can actually select it, and it and it locks it in. Okay, all right. So what what gives us D? The ghost light mushroom, and. Yeah, see, even our base ingredients don't really give us... I mean, we can make a kind of lousy potion. We, like, throw in one of these things, and then we throw in some C ingredients, some pure C. We don't want more A. We just want pure C, which I guess would be this one. Oh, uh, yeah, it's stable, but not really pretty. Yeah, this is tough. I mean, I guess we could do just multiples of this, although now that I'm looking at it, we're, we're short on, on our C ingredients here. We're going to need to open shop here. Yeah, I think we're going to need to buy some new ingredients before we can really do the poison cure. So I think we're going to set, a, a, set, set something simple to brew for two periods and open the shop. Because, I mean, we have, we have enough stuff to open the shop with, right? Unless we have some... Right, we have mana potions... And actually, the showcase potion needs to be one of our high tier ones. Now, not to mention, we have to customize. Yeah, bone waste shelf. That's what we're talking about. We can get Boku Bucks selling uh, these on here. I guess I could sell the two common sight enhancers since our two mana potions kind of suck right now, price wise. Because we only need one of these for that, and it's an optional potion otherwise. Yeah, let's do that. Because we do need something to sell to make this transaction efficient. All right, so let's find something to brew that will only cost two units because we need some cash. How about some fire tonics? Because those are profitable right now. Uh, these warg pheromones are like, we could just go straight fire tonics with just all of warg pheromones here. Uh, we are just, just barely off of that. Yeah, 12, 12, 12, 12. So the 12 and 12 there, this 12 isn't going to really help us out. There's not much else we can do besides warg pheromones. As much as it pains me to be short, but this is going to become like a super superior fire tonic. We slap one log on there. All right, now let's let me just double check my deck, see if we had anything else new that we wanted to add. I'm fine without the schemes. We don't want the shock factors. We added the craftsmanship. Not really interested in subvert. It's not too reliable. Yeah, our deck is 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 in a, in a good order. Uh, we have no stress. Let us open our shop and get some cash. Poison and tonic. Yeah, we'll take that. We're making we're gonna be making poisons and tonics anyway. So we're starting out already before we've done anything at a plus sixteen from both our display cases and our shelving unit, which is awesome. Let's press the attack. See what we get. Um, I'm good with the seed plant. Uh, we definitely want to hit with a uh, craftsmanship, and then, yeah, let's end the turn. Let the eight tick. Hopefully we can uh, increase the, the patience. There's Captivate. Excellent. Sympathy for the defense, and also the, the just the sheer bonus of it. Um, and actually, both of these, Enthusiasm, Craftsmanship, and that'll do it. you're still in business. 
Hmm, alright, so the Artisan has a long timer on them, so we'll go with the Rapport. Of course we'll go with the Captivate. Press the attack. Can't defend against that, but we might as well... Unfortunately, we're going to start ticking up on stress, unless we open with a guard card, which we don't have. So yeah, we're just going to... Well, let's see if we draw a guard card here with press the attack. Keep your guard up. I'll take it. Because that, that guard will protect us from the stress from the cards that we play here. So we don't increase our... Uh... Yeah, I think... Craftsmanship... Craftsmanship, and then we close it out for the final uh, bonus. 74%, not bad. The nice thing is we have four potions to sell here, so we're gonna get a bit more money here. Lots of sympathy. We're gonna need all of that sympathy. And also keeping our guard up. Or we just skip the sympathies and go for the guard. Yeah, let's, cons let's preserve the patience here. Block that attack. We don't have a lot of time to build the rapport, but it's still useful for the multipliers. If anything, it lets us um, hit a high power and enthusiasm, and then we can close it out. Ooh, actually, we can hit that exactly. Max interest. Not bad. There is so much to breakable here. Mm, more fire tonics for you, um, Muktuk? Of course. All right, what do you got, uh, Muktuk? Uh, we'll certainly hit, hit you with a Captivate. We don't need to keep our guard up. Hmm, do I want to just slow play this? Because these are not terribly efficient if they're not boosted by something. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's slow play this. We'll have more options next turn. All right, we can Sympathy for the defense. Let's press the attack. There's a good craftsmanship, excellent. Uh, I am, yeah, we're, we're early enough in that we can plant the seed. We don't need to close it out just yet. No, we're not denying it for you. We just want to make sure we get our money's worth. All right, now he's going to add a stress card, but ultimately that's not too bad. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the captivate here because we have a little bit more, more, more to go here. Uh, we'll go for the sympathy just to get the, the bonuses out. Let's press the attack, see what we get. More rapport, okay. Rapport? Yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna, and if we, if we end the turn, that's also not gonna end well, so we have to close out. Just shy. All other transactions are weak and inferior. All right, good. We got some cash. We can, we can, we, we also can uh, pay attention, uh, pay, uh, pay a visit to the forest. Uh, so that we can get some expansions there. But first things first, let's get our brew on. Or finish our brew. Greater Fire Tonic. That's what we're talking about. Nice base price there. Now that being said, um, we do have a bunch of orders for Fire Tonics and they don't actually have to be greater and you don't get more money for, for fulfilling that. So we kind of want like a weak sauce Fire Tonic. So A and C. Do we have some... we have some C here. We've got some A here. We've got a little A and C here. Man, I am just scraping the bottom of the barrel here. If we threw in one more ingredient, we'd get two fire tonics out of this deal. I don't even really care if they're that good. Chance of losing a star. Honestly, it doesn't matter because these are just going to be fodder for, for special orders. So yeah. That's just a special order fodder. That's all That's all that is. Just so that our p cauldron is not idle. Wait, we can turn in poison cures? I was about to say, we don't have poison cures yet. We have the fire tonics, but I'm not giving, I'm, I have, these are, you know what? These are going right here. These are getting sold. All right, let's go travel. Yes, Saffron. All right, first off, let's go talk to Mint. See what she got for us. Oh yeah, we, we set her up to beat the desert boss. Goldenite. Not bad. And some desert metal. Ooh, some pure B. Not bad, not bad. And we do need a rank up, and so I think this is a good time for a rank up. We'll give her a plant, and let's rank up. 
I swear I've stepped in every puddle on the way over here and half of the chewing gum. That's something they don't tell you about city living. People just drop their gum wherever they want. Oh, but don't listen to me, Sylvia. I'm just in a mood today. No harm done. You want to talk about it? I'd rather do something. That's why I asked to come over. Is the fire under your cauldron good and hot? Sure, you want to brew some potions? I was thinking more along the line of comfort food. Let's bake. When Sylvia gets the fire going, Mint dusts the countertop with flour. There are people in this town who have no cookies, Sylvia. And that is an injustice I cannot allow to continue. Mint plops a mass of cookie dough onto the counter and begins flattening it with her hammer. Sylvia almost asks whether that's sanitary, but she decides she doesn't really want to know the answer. As the cookies are baking, Mint exhales in relief. Seem working out some aggression on that dough. A little bit, yeah. The thing is, I hate to admit this after working so hard to get here, but I'm struggling to find my place in the guild. What if I never fit in? I worry about fitting in too. We're both starting over here in Rafta, and starting over is hard. I knew you'd understand, and it helps a lot knowing that we're in this together. Not used to second-guessing myself, but also not used to being surrounded by actual, honest-to-goodness heroes. Some of whom are legends, doing the best work of their careers. We're all here competing on the same quests, same loot. Talk about intimidating. I wanted to join the guild since I was a little kid, but nothing in my childhood prepared me for this. I want to hear more sorts of adventures you had as a kid. That's the thing, though. My hometown was way too quiet for adventures of any kind. We didn't have a local chapter of the guild. The nearest heroes were leagues away. I read everything about them I could get my hands on, from dusty library tomes to trashy gossip magazines. I hounded every bard in town to sing me the ballads until I'd memorized their exploits. The more I knew, the easier it was to daydream that I was one of them. So you were the kind of kid that had her head in the clouds. Literally, I was always looking out for dragons. But the whole area was monster free. No matter how hard I looked, I never found gremlins in the cookie jar or slimes in the shrubs. I couldn't even find any side quests. Closest I got was when old, old man Harwell's uh, walking stick broke. I had to track down some tape. That's what passed for excitement back home. So yeah, I'm feeling a little out of my depth here. But I've come up with a plan. I think it's a good one. I had a feeling you'd have a plan. You don't seem to be the wallowing type. No way. I'm a tank, and tanks keep moving forward. So let's hear this plan. Like all the best plans, it's simple. Every hero has the tools of their trade, and every famous hero I read about as a kid has a famous weapon. Wielding a one-of-a-kind legendary weapon is a surefire way of proving I deserve to be here. Well, she seems to be... she seems to be good with a hammer, so let's get you a hammer. Let's get you a hammer. Something epic. That is certainly my weapon of choice. I may have to take whatever I can find. There aren't enough legendary weapons to go around. Every one that's accounted for has been claimed. However, plenty of weapons have gone missing over the years. Some of them right here on this island. They're out there, waiting to be rediscovered. I've got to track one down. Great labor to win my place among the legends. Speaking of great labor, I should be getting back to work soon. But I have to say, I like this plan. Me too. I'm confident I've got the skills to search for legendary loot and battle beasties at the same time. Fight off enough slimes and you learn to let muscle memory guide you. Same for haggling with customers, probably. Ooh. Alright, so it's only four, but it costs no time. I'll take that. Definitely picking up some good moves. You and me both. Let's show them what we got. Starting with those cookies. They smell ready to me. Alright, Mint. Sounds good. Now, can we get a freebie from you? It's not It's not worth it to send you to the forest, because the forest just has junk. I mean, we could just... Well, hang on. 2, 5, 10, 15. Not enough to complete it. I'm not going to bother slumming you in the forest. Um... And yeah, you can't get through there. Can't get through there either. Alright, yeah, you're you're sitting idle. I mean, I could just give you a single common mana potion. 
and see what you get, but that's probably not worth it. It's probably better just to, yeah, sell it at some point once that debuff wears off. So you'll be idle for now, Mint. Sorry. Right then. I want to gather my ingredients and then turn them into Quinn first, and then I will go. All right, we just got the basics. We didn't get the, the, the lucky strikes, but at least these are new ingredients that we can register. Wow, a 27B. That's uh, that's a potent. That I, I I I remember complaining about the lack of bees, and and we got bees. We got bees for days. Ghost light. We can give you the ghost light bloom. While we're not romancing you anymore, I do. Ooh, you. Uh, there's our there's our pure C that we want, and that's the mushroom mire. So we don't want to overtax it because I do want to send mint to the mushroom mire soon. So we'll, we'll just do a one for, for that. Yeah, I don't see the need. We'll pick up one sack of slime. Maybe we'll get a, a rare ingredient from there. All right, let's turn. Let's go to Quinn. Turn in our goodies. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's shop. We need, we need, we need some stuff. Oh yeah, essences are cheaper. We could pick up some of the more potent ones if we really wanted to. I mean, these are some really expensive ones, but slimes are more expensive. Ooh, definitely getting four work for pheromones. Those are, those are my bread and butter right there. Bioplasm. I mean, they're on sale. Uh, this, yeah. Man, Worm Root gives us some bees, but we need, as much as I want to buy them, they're not what I need right now. They're a little bit too advanced. Um, B and C, it's okay. B and C, A, B, C. We can get, these These flowers are worth it for multiple reasons. Actually, I, let's not go too crazy with the ingredients. There's our pure C. These are useful. get a couple of the flowers hopefully I didn't spend too much to where I couldn't uh... Man, I gotta come up with another new voice Ooh, it's nice out here sorry about that I was just securing the timber I need to put the finishing touches on a new galleon You're building a whole galleon from scratch well nothing's made from nothing force provides everything I need for my projects Every carpenter should build a fleet every now and then. Keeps you sharp. My name's Saffron, by the way. Would you like to hear more about my services? That's why I'm here. I'm Sylvia. I run a potion shop in town. Hello, Sylvia. You're most welcome here. And if potions are your business, and sooner or later, you'll need fuel for your cauldron's fire. I can supply whatever you need from the magic-infused hardwood, this enchanted forge, to more exotic fare. Sounds amazing. Hold on now, that's only half of it. Mostly a fully licensed carpenter of no small skill. Looking to make the most of your limited space? I'll fix her up in no time. Now, what'd I miss? Anything else you're looking for? Maybe some advice. I'm pretty new to running a business. I've been at it a long time. Really? How old are you? Ha! Well, there's your advice, I suppose. Never ask a witch her age. There's no shame in getting older. In fact, it's something to celebrate. Find it hard to argue with that, even if the years feel like a burden at times. Let's just say I've been around long enough to see some real sides. If that's true, then you must have good advice to share. You're cute, Sylvia. I think I like you. Thanks. We, I can use more friends around here. Right, you're new here. Which brings us back to that advice you asked for. How's this? I can see that you're stressed. Eh, only 2%. You carry your tension in your shoulders. You mustn't let the trials of life, whether customers or debt or family or drama, rule you. In fact, practice a little bit of mental self-care in the form of meditation. Your business will only thrive uh, when you thrive. Decrease stress by two. Too situational. We can prevent stress most of the time. So how'd I do? Eh, your cards could be better. Definitely use that. Thanks. Why don't you make it a point to come back soon? See what else I can come up with. Haven't had many visitors recently. A visitor who comes seeking wisdom is welcome indeed.
All right, fuel, we can, actually we can buy a couple of these just to sort of top, uh, hang on, before I buy any fuel, can I actually afford any upgrades? Additional cauldron space, we need, yeah, we need mushroom caps and 400 gold. And this is 300 gold, but extra wood on both cases. Huh, I, uh, all right. Well, that's good to know. At least I can buy stuff in earnest here without worrying about, um, let's see, we have one oak wood. Uh, let's just get like a tree, yeah, a couple of these, five of these. That just decreases it by one, gives us granular control of exactly how many we, uh, we want. What do you like? And then I'm, you like fruit? Nope. Well, it doesn't hate fruit. We can rank you up, but I'm not ready for that because we're going to use our another time there. So I'll, I'll come back. Let's buy, let's spend the rest of our cash on ingredients. Uh, do I want some of these essences? It seems, it seems bad to, to miss out on them. And these can make for some pretty potent potions here. That doesn't, that doesn't give us the poison that we want. Actually, we do need some D while we're here. I wish I had a pure D. Oh, mud shrimps. Those are good for, um, those are good for fire potions. But I need, I need D. I need D ingredients here. There's a little, and actually, hang on. Um, A, C, and D. There's a little E in here, but honestly, I think it's, this is a, probably our best bet. And it's discounted. Yeah, the forest ingredients are no bueno. I mean, we could just buy one of the bugs. The sphinx fleas are never a bad thing. And you only get two of them per day. All right, let's go. Do we have a fish that we can give up to Muktuk? No, we are, I, I forgot to buy a fish. Sorry, Muktuk. But now we can get, um, we can send out some of these crappy potions that we just popped here for Boku bucks. Custom orders. Turn in. Done. And 232 turns into 165. Not too shabby. Now we do need to um, get po uh, a, a, a brew of poison cure going. And we need to save that last fire tonic for... We could do, we could open the shop. But let's get, let's get the poison, uh, poison cure brewing. Because we really need that. So we'll set that. We'll use our spiders here that we bought. And then what was our, wasn't there an A and D? Yeah, this one, the ghost light bloom. Although we need to crank up. Oh, and there's too much, too many Magimans. All right, maybe one of the spiders and then some more of these blooms. This is not looking too bad, actually. We just need some more A, like just regular A. I mean, it's not gonna be super balanced, but yeah, let's throw in some flowers. And then A and C. I know we have an A and C. A and C? One of our warp for pheromones. Oh, that's too many Magimans. We need something small. I do want to throw in a final ingredient here. We have something that only gives us four. I tend not to buy those. Because these are a little too potent. So maybe we get a... Maybe just throw in this because we can. It's stable enough. It it crosses the tier. It would require six units of time to brew, which is actually fine because we make we drop it to four and we get to two to let it brew for two plus two units overnight and it'll be ready by morning. All right, I think that's that's pretty good, darn good and. I mean, we don't necessarily need to go quite that hard since most of these are just going to things, but yeah, this seems, this seems unwise since we're actually just filling orders. I'm just double checking the orders themselves. What, what is the minimum required? Minor and uh, common. So we at least want the brew to be common. It does not need to be greater. That's getting, that's making it a bit extra here. All right, so maybe we don't use the drop sh spider shadow. Um, let's see, where, where's our pure C? There's some pure C here. Yeah, that's, that's better. Yeah, that's, that should be fine. And now, now we, hmm, now we don't have to use a log and it'll brew for, um, naturally. That works. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, now I think we, do we open the shop? Or do we go by? I think we open the shop again because we can we can um, 
fill our shelves here. We have one crappy fire tonic to uh, to sell, but it uh, sell it will. Cause I don't think our custom orders. Oh no, we we need to we need that crappy fire tonic. Dare I sacrifice a a potion from here? And I don't want to sacrifice the sight enhancer because we need that for for the sale. And I don't want to give up the mana potions because their nerf, their value is getting nerfed. I am, it might actually make sense for me to sacrifice the health potion and just brew up more health potions tomorrow. Because we'll still have time before, we need this on this here to get the showcase bonus, I think. So yeah, you know what? We'll do that. And you know what? We'll showcase there. Or I guess maybe if they want a variety, we'll showcase that sight potion. Yeah, we'll brew up we'll brew up more health potions and we can we have the materials to make really good ones. I'm not worried. That way we get maximum efficiency from our uh, our shop day. We'll just have to make sure we buy the correct ingredient. Oh crap, I knew I was forgetting something. I forgot to put in the uh, that zero cost card. Let's press let's no, let's let's apply some sympathy, press the attack. Yeah, we'll plant the seed. Not gonna end the turn yet. Or not gonna close it out yet. It's a perfectly fair price. Alright. We get the captivate. Um I'm willing to do the craftsmanship because the penalty doesn't do doesn't bother that. Um yeah, let's end the turn. We get another tick from plant the seed. Yeah, we can get the rapport. We can hit them with an enthusiasm and then finish them with a close it out. Max. Things are looking up. I agree. Now this one, it's uh, hmm, it's only at a plus 11 to start with. I thought the showcase would drive it higher. Unfortunately, we have nothing to defend against the the complaint here. Um, I will, however, make sure we uh, plant the seed. All right, build rapport, definitely worth it at this stage of the haggle. Definitely gonna keep our guard up. Um, enthusiasm. Not quite enough if we close it out here, but they only have two patients left, so we kind of have to. What a pity this day must end. I have the greatest thirst this day. You want more minor fire tonics, okay. All right, let's get that rapport cooking. Oh, it's a sweet way to, to add stress to somebody. Yeah, at this point, it's late in the day. We'll we'll burn off extra stress anyway. Um, yeah, we'll press that attack. Ugh, double plant the seed. And we're going to lose three time. This is problematic. If we plant the seed once, we'll get a tick out of it. But I'd rather just enthusiasm close the deal. As poor as that is, but otherwise we lose the uh, the sale. Hmm, got that doubt back in our hand. All right, well, we'll take the rapport. I mean, we're getting some good money for some of these potions here, so. All right, uh, well, we still have the sympathy buff, um, but we could use the defense. Yeah, we can we can go for another turn here. We can craftsmanship. We can enthusiasm. We end the turn. We get we get a chance to do more. Naughty naughty. Of course we one all right, one fewer card. Ooh, captivate. I will take that. Now we have more wiggle room. Uh, let's press that attack. More closing it out. And yeah, they're gonna they're gonna end the the they're going to end stuff anyway, so let's close it. Almost 200 uh, gold for, for a pet, uh, potion and is not too shabby. Not a bad potion, but the snoring. All right, 791 in increased gold that day. That's not too bad, and that's that's factored against our, um, our, our expenses, so pretty happy. We just need to make sure we brew the health potion. Um, uh, don't let me forget that. So in a, actually, hang on, next day, just in case we get a cutscene. All right, no cutscene. Uh, we still have to deal with Roxanne's thing, but, uh, ooh, increased value for health potions. 
and the forest is uh, more... Now's the time. Yeah, I'm on it, Owl. We had to be efficient. I'm not putting it off! Okay, if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and uh, and uh, leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya!